morning. Good morning, lovely people. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to the people. You probably like, okay, what's happening? What's happening? And what's happening? <laughs> you know what everyone. <laughs> Get up on a downstroke. Any morning know. started with George is a good morning. It's a great morning. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Oh, uh, fucking par Parliament of fucking Delic. Gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it. Do what you do, do what you do. Do what you do. Good morning, lovely people, and welcome to Shout Talk with Mel. It is early morning. Let's give it up. Let's do it like we did it. Look, I'm like, Psh, got to make it happen on myself. Let's give it up to the co-host today, and we'll start with a Nick the Voice. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I got you coming on the stage, right? Yeah. <laughs> now like, you know if I gotta come on stage, you know I'm gonna be real crunk. Okay, okay. Like, like, now let's give it up to Nate the Agitator. Be my friend now because today's topic will have you hating me. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. Get it up, get it up, get it up, and get it moving. All right, listen. How was you guys' this week? Like, I didn't talk to y'all in a second, real quick. Give Man, me a minute. One it, minute of how your week was. Dude, it was long. And every season, I we had winter, spring, winter, uh, summer, and fall every day. It was crazy out there. True. True. So what you I got? Stayed, What'd you say? I stayed in the house scratching. <laughs> wow. What you got, Nick? Tell me about your dog. It's good day. My week was weekend. That's all. <laughs> yeah. it, was about it was a week. My was off the chain. Listen. She set us up. Go ahead, I man. Did, I, was, yeah, I had to tell you about this. So I went and I visited because if you know me, in order for me to talk about this stuff, I have to experience it. Mm -hmm. True. Especially when we talk talking food. Uh oh. oh. Well, you got to put your hands together like this. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at her. No. <laughs> that, that was it for real. That, that was it. Perfect song. Like the BBLs are taking over. But besides that, so I go down to um like the pit boss. I go down to the pit boss. Nice place. And, and it is. So, and that was we know it as like C Staples. So they still C Staples with the pit boss. He didn't take away the history of it. Good, for good, us. Move. good move. You know, even though the house was not across the street. But anyway, we're gonna move forward. So long story short. We go in there. Hilarious because we know how the economy is and we know how the young folk are. There was an older guy that was going to be our waiter. So I looked before you could sit down and dine in or whatever on the new, the new staples, not the old one. It was straight takeout. You could sit at the table and eat there if you wanted to. And, you, you know, your styrofoam or whatever you had, your box actually back then. The box. Now, yeah, the box. So now you can sit there and eat in, but there's like no waiter or waitress. So the guy said, well, I'll wait on your table. So I go with my home girl. And if you know her, she is over the top and everything has to be just so. Listen, this guy was so funny. He was so funny. He go in there. It's all new, modern technology. The man looked to be over 70. You got to type this in on the kiosk. Listen, I took my own order with my notebook. I was like, I got something in my purse. I wrote my own like I was my own waitress. Anyway, I take it to him. Fast forward, we get out of <laughs> So she asked for some ketchup. Then she she said, well, do you have some salt and pepper? Do you have, now remember, it's like a takeout now. So it's not, that's not on the table. He looked at her. He was like, I swear I will quit today. <laughs> Look at here. Your girl's bouginess and caused the man his, his job. Oh, wow. No, I holler. It was so funny because he was so, he was older. He was like, he looked at her. He was like, he had the hat. He was ready. He was like, I swear I quit today. Man, I hollered. She couldn't do nothing but laugh. Because you know, this newer generation, they'll quit in a heartbeat. Yeah. You blink wrong, boom. They gone. Mm -hmm. Gone. Listen, when he said that, that was like the highlight of my day. Actually, the whole I week. have a question, though. Let me tell you about the food. So oh. that's where I'm going with it. What I liked was I'll say what I liked. Um, the sauce is not bad. They let you, they give you the option to choose the sea staple sauce or, well, let me say this, the Charlie's sauce 
<laughs> or, or the pit boss and they have hot and mouth. So of course I got a little different sections of it. They have rice and chicken, rice and gravy. It's good. The pie, sweet, the bean pie is good. The sweet potato pie is good. The potato salad, let me tell you. Y'all know how we talk about the potato salad on the show. Right. No raisins. No raisins. No raisins. The potato salad is throwback, basic, not extra. It is the potato salad. So if you want some for real potato salad, go there. You don't have like, you know how people try to doctor stuff up? Mm -mm. It is authentic potato salad and it was really good. The fish was good and it was something that, oh, the brush strips are really good. Hey, and, and as you know, I am a breast, breast strip aficionado. I don't like the new fries, but those breast strips take you back. The, the, the staples breast strips take you back to the little white box. It does. I'm like, I'm like oh, it does. What, what? The breast strips, like, like, no, I don't like the fries either. This, this tastes like when I was 23, late now after, <laughs> after 30 in the morning. After Davidson's, this tastes like after Davidson's uh, with the sauce inside the silver trash can. Yeah, yeah. And my man had that pallet hat and was oh, stirring the sauce. Man. I said, he came out the back, Nick. I like, I'll never forget this man had a pallet hat, like a Snoopy pilot. That leather uh -huh. hat. I said, Well, what do he do? They said, Oh, he stirred the sauce. I was like, Hey, right, I hey. I'll just call in my order. I don't even want to see who's coming out the back, but let me the get chicken that. fingers. How do yeah, I? I uh, yeah, I, I I I was like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. This is this is 1990, 96, 95. Well, so you enjoyed it good. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I like what he's doing with the place. I used to patronize him when he was up in Warren. And they had the pit stops ain't bad, but you know, you, you come to Youngstown. He made a smart move by not just trying to take away the staple sauce because that's that's a staple in our, our our whole lifehood. You know what I mean? It definitely is. And it's a good I mean, thing. Kim and and we gonna have to we we gonna have to bring the history around because y'all know I got to do that. Go ahead, Nick. I see you bewildered. What's your question? Uh, we had a whole spread, and the fried pickles was good. We had a whole spread. I ain't lying. We had like everything. So the man was like, "Come on." We ordered probably. I'm not lying. Over a hundred dollars worth of food. That's a happy meal nowadays. Huh? A happy hundred dollars. That's a happy meal nowadays. No, but it's like <laughs> it was like all the sides, so we could right, test. Yeah, I know. I know what you said. Um. What? Come on. When did when did Mr. St when, 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 we'll when talk after the show. Yeah, we'll you, you've been time. gone. You've been gone too long, girl. Yeah, he just moved. That's all. It's nothing yeah. major. It's it's all good. It's still it's still doing mm. what it do. Still I soft. Have... And he get and he has white box goodness. So we good. Okay. But so we'll talk about it after show because that's too much. We ain't got I ain't got the show to do to look to give to them like that. So we already know about the lovely um. <laughs> did he do it or did he not? <laughs> did he, he do did it? Something. He did something. The court of common pleas says, okay. He so did. He did do it. Now, what's interesting, let's talk. Okay, so we got that out. Allegedly, we're going to say that allegedly. And the children doing their thing, they feel in some type of way. Aoki, um, Russell Simmons' daughter. With the old man, he's sixty-five year old man, and people have a problem with that because she's kissing him, and they're on a romantic. Um, that was her. That was okay. her. That's the little I, one. Who, I just see the picture. I was like, oh, she got an old. She after that Medicare, that Medicaid money. And guess what though? So clearly, it got to be in their culture, and I'm going to say this: their Korean culture, because remember, um, like mother, like daughter, Kamora's parents okayed her to marry him. Right. Well, so, I mean, in Korean culture, that's helping the race if you marry white so that's a big thing and you know, yeah but well i mean she don't need no money but i that's mean what I was, and see that's where i was at i was like she's she, she don't need no money anyway. yeah she don't need nothing so she love him okay hey. he's, he's fine. keep it going okay hey. get that viagra drip <laughs> i guess throws me out <laughs> I'm 53 and I'm not going past 62. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't. No. You want to get us on this topic so fast. Hey, I always. I, 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 honestly, I ain't trying to be funny, but a lot of your high caliber men are older. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Nick. When I was in the dating realm years ago, I only wanted to go up. I didn't, I'm scared to go down. Older. I want older. Now, why? Why? Uh, because I'm a nerd in the way I think. So it, okay. it usually was just better for me and easier for me. And okay. the young younger people scare me. 
I mean, I'm not an old dude like get out my grass now. So I mean, I don't, don't want to mess with them. Okay, what, what you got, Nick? You, are you good? Okay, go ahead. <sighs> I just so you can't go with no old old dot. You don't want to get worms. Not rural. Uh, I, I might crawl <laughs> up to sixty five, but right now I can't go past sixty two, sixty three. I might go sixty five though. It depends. The love of your I life. I have been looking, but the I haven't 64. had no luck with the older ones neither. They just as much of a jackass as the young ones. So I just stick to the young ones. And the, yeah, your pickers. But wrong. I ain't going your past forty five. So you know, between 45 and like 63, I might push it to 65. I might. You can't look it though. You can't look like that dude look old. Hey, the love of your life is 66. Yeah, that's what I'm tonight. saying. As long as he don't look old, I could, I could, I could. You can do it. All right, check this out. Um, food prices are going down at the grocery store. 0.4%. I know that don't seem like a lot, but look at it this way. So, so eggs are like 20% cheaper. That kind of help you a little bit. So you got your meat, that chicken. Remember that chicken was like $30 a pack, $50 a pack for some chicken wings. Now you're back to the regular prices. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Uh, what else? We got? Your fish, seafood, all that stuff is the grocery stores are going down, but dining out or dining in is going up. Yeah, shoot. Hey, um, give a tip. Like what? Tip. I just put a, was able to afford this. And that's a happy why meal and out. a large Coke. Well, that's $32. And I think that's why a lot of people don't go out. They don't go out because they can't afford it. So, which in mm -hmm. turn, that somebody's dream to be a restaurant owner is diminishing and they have to increase those prices to stay afloat. Mm -hmm. Which is but they want it. I, I think, you know, a tip is just that. A tip, it was like you guess is going stuff. back up. Like, why? But you wait a minute, though. Well, here's my problem with the tips. How in the world? Are you asking for a tip? And all you did was showed up for work. Yeah. Thank you. Or oh, you just working at the cash register. I'm like, tip. And you just spin around if you want to give a tip. I went. To, no, I don't. I no. went there. Mm -hmm. Just yesterday that happened to me. I went to go get some donuts at Shipley Donuts. And when I, you know, oh, she brought donuts. me my, my receipt to sign, it said tip. I That's started it. giving her a tip, all right, but it wasn't going to be one she liked. So oh. I just uh, crossed it out. And wrote the actual about how you ask you for a tip and you fast food or a bakery. You didn't come serve me. You didn't bring me my drinks like that. Like take See, my order and go, and then I'm sitting down. Wait, I'm not that's sitting. So I'm standing weird. at that counter. That's so strange. And the problem, and then they get an attitude with you when you don't know it. Like, well, we're trying to do this. I said, well, that's not with the staff meeting, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Like that shouldn't be on me. I'm like, come on. I, I mean, especially if you a worker that's getting 10, 11, 12 dollars an hour because they're going up now in some of the places. The ones that deserve a tip is the ones that still making two fifty three dollars an hour. Now I agree. Now let's move on to this. Did you guys know that one in five children are obese in America? Yes. Yeah, they pumping us with all this processed food and steroided chicken. Remember mm -hmm. when we was kid? You see this gap? I put a whole chicken wing in, turn it, and pull. And it was gone. Now the chicken wings is damn near a forearm. Colossal. That, yeah. that's, you know what? That's because of you eating like that. Hey, hey like, okay, we need to fill him up. Them. We need Nothing. to fill him up because he, he can't be eating all these chicken. These Nothing chicken is my <laughs> fault. You ain't learned that yet, Mel. Nothing. All right, but listen. So they have the new shot out there. So we heard about the Ozempic. Well, now they have the, I think it's called Wagovi. Wagovi. Yeah, Wagovi. Wagovi. Okay. The shot. Now, here's the thing. I have to ask you these, this question. I'm wondering if this, like, Wagovi shot, is it the new bulimia and anorexia back in school? Because these, it's the children that's on this now. No, they fat. No, let me quit. Um, but think just... about it. Now, back when we was in school, you had maybe, like, two fat kids in the whole building. But you had some thin ones, and then the non-melanated, which I thought was really weird. We were used to the way that we were built, but they felt like they were fat, and they were in the bathroom throwing up and everything yeah. else. Mm -hmm. Different standards. And I'm I'm noticing that with this Wagovi, <clears throat> that most of it is non-melanated teenagers. That's what it is. The teens. Well, I it's mean, more for this, there should be an age limit, unless you taking it. To control your A1C, because that's why I'm taking Ozempic okay. to control well, my A1C. You're, talking, you're not a teen, though. 
So right. it's in here, yeah, that's, that's why I said it needs to be an age limit. But it's not. It, they won't be because let's think about it. Viagra was a heart medication. And they said, oh, this is a side effect. Let's change it to this name and let's make money off it. There's no regulation on that. I mean, and if you feel and you identify as skinny and this is to help you. and Wait, let, let me let me add something else to that. Viagra actually helps with hair growth as well. Go ahead. That's oh, what? Let me start right. thinking <laughs> right then. Yeah, no. Don't have nothing important to do. Be like, hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I want That's my hair down. Large I want 30 oh. inches of hair. <laughs> like. I want to sit on it like my great grandma. Oh, wait, but no, let's let's stay focused on this because this is a serious topic, though. The children, I mean, I, I see you where let me tell the listening audience where um one of the viewers said, uh, Bill Corbett said the kids don't play outside anymore. That and is a that problem. Because listen, I'm not lying. When we were in high school, it was two people. You had one fat girl, one fat dude, and out of the whole school, and everybody else was average right i mean but now I mean, the average i'm knowing is obese and you might have one thin girl and one yeah. thin guy but for these people with this wagobi are you it's almost like what's safer and i want to know from you know public opinion what do you believe is safer the bulimia anorexia vomiting eating and vomiting yeah. or the medication itself that we've seen what happened with ozempic and all the side effects as well with that right well i mean so, there's side effects to Olympic. Go ahead. That's another. You, you're gonna have to do the research on yourself. We got it. No, no, I got you, man. We'll talk offline. Yeah, we'll talk. But, uh, it, it's all about self. What you? It's all about self nowadays. Everything is about me. Everything is about how I feel and how I identify. So <clears throat> you're just being fat phobic or racist because. You don't allow allow Ozempic or this other drug, so I don't I don't mess with it. That's personal choice. I oh, think they're all bad. Listen, I think, uh -uh. I think, wait, I think wait, 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 let me hear them. Let me hear them. I out. think I think the food that we drink or eat is just as poison as that. So I mean, where can you win? Okay, so but let's stay on top. We we're talking about this situation. Right. Okay, go right. ahead, Nick. What you got? It's the parents' fault because the teens can't get it on their own. The right. parents gotta take them. Right. It was, the parents, it was no. A no, no, the parents they have to okay it, and that's they have to okay it. And when I was watching, um, the uh, it was a news or you know, news uh report on it. When I was watching the mom, it seems like weight is connected to self esteem, mm -hmm. and I get that you look good, you feel good, I understand that whole concept, mm -hmm. but are we so focused on being thin that you dying to be thin? That's crazy. Like hey, no. just, it's, you can put mm -hmm. it in the same thing as BBLs. Are you dying for that look? It's the same thing. It's cosmetic, and I mean, you you can, but I mean, but it's all cheating though. Think about the person that work hard, and then you'd be like, "Boom." Hey, hey. You we hey. already had this conversation. I've achieved the goal. Do what it does for you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just trying to understand because I'm looking at the young people and seeing how they are so overly consumed mm -hmm. by the look and not the mind. Well, I mean, I like to use Britney Spears. She was a superstar at 16. Mm -hmm. So these kids are figuring if they don't make it by 16, they're not living to be. They don't have the mindset, oh, when I'm 70. Their no, mindset is right here, right now. <clears throat> If I can get a butt injection and make me look good so I can go to the club on Friday. Because when I step into Larry's with my new BBL with the legs that don't match, I'm going to get all the drinks. I'm going to get all the numbers. That's as far as, as they look. And it's sad, but I mean, can can you argue with that? Can you argue with my point? Thank you. No, you can't. No, you can't. You, you can. I'm like, yeah, you got a point. Because you said with the legs that don't match. <laughs> You're right. Like, that is so funny. Cause why you know you gonna look crazy with all that ass and all and your legs is this big? What what the mat? What the matter, boo boo? Tell them to put some of that fat in your thighs at least down to your knees. Okay, I have to I have to read this comment, especially for the listeners that's not on here. Um, let me see. Awan said, when we were growing up, Black parents sold into our self-esteem. We thought we were wonderful, fat or skinny. Exactly. Black exactly. or black or light skin or dark skin. They did. But he said parents. She. Right. 
Say parents. Yeah. yeah. The, um, yeah. We don't have parents no more. We don't but have even if one parent, friends. listen, no, for real. I, and I'm going to share something that I've never actually shared before. My biological dad was in the war. So when he came back, his mom wasn't there. So there's one parent. I'm going to say one parent with my mom. You know, the um, she spoke life into me. Yeah. And so it don't have to be parents because I'm going to say when you have two parents in a household, if one of them parents is off kilter, honestly, that's a negative. And right. then you see, so that can still affect you. Let's say, call, I, a, spade, call a spade a spade. I, As a parent, however, parents pass away, whatever. If you have a single parent, <clears throat> I'm going to say this, and, and this is not towards <clears throat> you, Nate. My thing is, I'm with her. <clears throat> Guess what? It is our job to instill the greatness of us into our children. It is not the teacher's job outside. It is not the Sunday school teachers, not the church. You have to do it at home. And then they'll respect the other people and say, see, okay, that's what we're saying. somebody's on the outside telling you. There was somebody that said, I want to say Julius. Julius Oliver, I had him on the show. And he said what he wanted to be in school. He was in elementary school. And the teacher said that he could not be that. That's why I love his story. He's the first word um, councilman. But his story is so amazing because you had somebody in elementary trying to diminish your light in elementary. You just, the fire just got lit. Like you got a little flame. And you trying to put it out right now. There are people that's out there that's doing that. So I think it's extremely important for the parents, parents, I ain't say grandparents, aunts, mm -hmm. uncles, Mm -hmm. parents to speak life into their children and let them know how great they are so that we don't be sitting here on this we'll go what in five children it's three of us on here and okay let's do let's do bill and art one in five and here i am talking about some like that's a that's crazy for the population but go ahead. Well, well, well the thing uh, is what, what we had back then is community I couldn't come exactly. up with acting a fool because your mama had the authority in the community to tear my ass up, send me home. Yep. We don't have that. You got your butt whooped again when you got home. Yeah, yeah. And my what? mom didn't have a cell phone, a pager, or nothing, but she knew the whole story by the time she, by the I time got home. we got home. So and see, the, that's the thing we say, Mel. We're not. It's oh, like, I'm, you not, know, I'm not opposed against y'all. Yeah. Saying, you know, oh, okay. It's just like there aren't parents anymore you're wanting to Beauty. be your child's best friend i've seen people dog their child out call them everything but they name you ain't ish like your daddy or you ain't gonna be that's the problem that's where the self-esteem issue comes from i don't care how mad your child makes you you should never ever 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 diminish your child like that like you're talking to another adult that's something that you had and yes it's what you had but that don't, that don't give you the right to talk to him any old kind of way okay now on point what will go be her mother was supportive she trying to help her self-esteem so and she had parents so you gotta i mean it, it's it's something else that's missing that we need to the mind. community Something wrong with, the mom. with you up uh, there we go there we go we have uh cornell um the village is gone and we need it back the village i seen the village leaving honestly um when i was younger and i'm gonna tell you something that's really interesting the new age parents okay babies raising babies um the new age parents took care I, of that I, I, but you know you know what i'm not even gonna say that because here's the difference with the village older people how, how many times have think about when you were young and everybody wasn't allowed in everybody's house right right you were not if you were allowed in that person's house you knew that that those parents had some level of respect and love for you because mm -hmm. everybody it wasn't a oh who in the house oh, oh um it was a privilege to be able to be invited into somebody's home you can yep. sell porch all day long mm -hmm. He'll be oh, right out. Bathroom. Oh, I got to go to the bathroom. You got to go home. Yeah. That, you look, that was my mama. <laughs> that was my mama. If you was allowed in the house while she was at work, you, you was good with her then. Because other than that, like she, y'all, I don't want nobody in my house. 
better not be nobody if i find out and then my grandma lived two doors down so she was always peeking and coming up there's the village. too many there's people the, here she comes the up the street there's the village. The village. Yep. The village. because family lived right by each other mm -hmm. and it, it wasn't even family family you remember well there was times when i was a kid that my mom would walk up down up and down the street looking for me with a switch in her hand the whole neighborhood knew it was about to go down no one <laughs> called the cops no one said anything but they said he over there yeah. girl, your son <laughs> over there <laughs> your son's oh. over there girl right my right your neighbor my neighbor across the street okay. i gotta go to the comments um bill corbett of facebook said the village was most important for me personally it just reinforced what my parents were saying and it, it matters mm -hmm. but you got people talking about something uh, don't say nothing to my child go to yeah okay. that's why i said it these okay. new age parents they'd be ready to fight you if you say something to their child but mm -hmm. i tell people quick fast in a hurry i fight mamas daddies grandmas grandpas uncles but I guess fight what? They don't know. That, that's the problem that's the problem because they don't want nobody to say that no, your kid no, ain't gonna be disrespectful no, to me no but you gotta listen but see just your response that's the problem and then you said if they you saying you know it's that fight fight it's like wait a minute and then watch this and they do it in front of the children mm -hmm. And then what happens? Now you're doing it in front of the children. Now you're no longer the parent, you're the child's friend. Yep. Now we back to look. Now we back to, oh, you want to lose weight, sweetie. Okay, let's get this with Govi. Let's get, and I'm not saying anything yeah, bad about true. it. So don't come after me with Govi people. Or it's like, oh, you want your butt bigger? Let's go get you a BBL for 5000 But I did hear somebody say that they was going to get a liposuction. And I was like, oh, you know, she was like, Oh, girl, I'm about to make this money this weekend and go on down and get me, boom. She's like, they can suck it out faster than I can work out. <laughs> the microwave society. Facts. So I, I get that part of it. Look, I'm Exploring like, Exploring their options. That's all that is. Right. You don't even have to do it. Now, check this out. My problem. And I got to hurry up and expedite this thing. Um, Shaquille O'Neal, he admitted on his podcast that he threw out his Olympic gold medal in 1996. Do you think it's because of everybody gets a trophy? Does the trophy still hold the same weight? I don't, why did he throw it out? Just answer the question. Does the trophy still hold the same weight? And then we'll get there. No. He threw it out because he threw not it. everybody earned it. Yeah. Yeah. I worked hard to, to do this. And, and he get one because he was here. It's like, man, that's the same amount. And I'm saying. That's what he said. Hard. Guess what he said. That's why he threw it out. I ain't mad at him. He threw it out because he said that he played, he only played two minutes in the Olympic game. And I was like, well, the team gets it. He only played two minutes. But loving his ethic, his athletic and work ethic, that he's like, I didn't earn this. So it meant nothing to him. Yeah. Okay. I want to read this for the last topic. Parents were young back then, so I don't think it's age. It's trying to be friends and not being a parent setting rules and boundaries mm -hmm. yeah. and there's, uh, and there's not a standard for us anymore there's no standard and it should be, but we can we can bring it back mm -hmm. our churches aren't even as strong as they used to be there's mega churches every yeah. 200 miles apart and then there's nine million churches here in youngstown with eight members okay eight wait eight our churches aren't as, our, our churches aren't strong as they used to. no uh oh what happened oh man what i do uh yeah Exactly. I thought you were the bishop. I had to zoom in. My fault. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> I quit. Why did you quit? You like that dude? I quit. <laughs> I'm walking off. I quit. <laughs> it's bad because I'm going to tell you what's happening with the churches that I see. What I see happening with the churches is that there's no difference between being in the world and being in a church not it anymore so tainted it is so tainted and it's bad it's almost like and my only analogy that i can actually give is if you have let's say the color red was tainted you i'm not gonna do that you have dirty water you put some dirt in some water and you got clean water mm -hmm. and you pour that clean water into that dirty water all the water's dirty. dirty. Watch this. If you turn, take that dirty water and pour it into that clean water, all the water's dirty. Well, you yeah. have to separate. They they can't. 
it's like, yeah, you want to reach, but they can't be the same. You have to mm-hmm. hold, hold, people need to be accountable. That's one. And it's like, um, you know, the easy one is I'm a work in progress. Okay. <clears throat> But if you are the example and you're trying to get people, you're trying to lead people, like, where are you leading me to? I can just go to the club and boom, knock, I ain't got to get, look, yeah. I get something for my money. But people who don't know, they're like, okay, I'm going to go to the church and give you something, but I don't see it. Well, I mean. Nothing. Not because they too busy twerking for Jesus in church now. You won that competition, girl. You was, you was fierce that did day. You, you did fierce. you see? Who was it? Kiki Wyatt? What? That was twerking? No, that was Child, amazing. listen, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, but it's, there's no standard anymore. The church, uh-uh, the church is trying to, to try to woo the young kids. They rapping and they beatboxing mm-hmm. in the church as opposed to think, bringing the church. Do you think that's that um, come as you are? You think is that what happened? I think so. No. I really do. But what? the meaning of okay, come as you close. are, the, the meaning of come as you are was like, you you know, for people that say, yeah. I don't I don't have your appearance. Come as you are, meaning your appearance. Okay, you don't have money to buy a suit. You don't have to. Come as you are. But now that come as you are, they want it. Nah, dog. Like, take it back. I Mm. like the good old-fashioned church service. Now, come as you are to me. That's that's one thing about the Bible. It's interpreted very different from everyone. That's the problem. Come come as you are to me is how you are right now. Where you are mentally. mentally. Boom. Come on in. Come on in the door. It's a hospital for the sick. Go ahead. What you got, Nate? I agree with you. It's come as you are. But I mean, they're, 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 instead of bringing you in and parenting you, they're bringing you in and then they're, they're doing whatever it, they're dancing for you. Hey, come on in as you are youth. Now we rapping. I got a beatbox solo this, this Sunday. It, it, I wasn't doing it on Easter Sunday, but it was a little too much. But this Sunday, I got a beatbox solo at the church. You know, so young kids come out as instead of spin, still spitting those old spirituals, you know, so you're, down you're by the river. It. They don't even sing down by the river. Now it's, you know, across McCalvey Lake with a dope beat behind it. And you in church. So you and ain't no water out there. Yeah. I don't know. Say it, man. Jesus. You got to say Jesus in it a couple times. Just put Jesus in it a couple times in this gospel. But we can't go to a church and then they appease to us. We have to go to that church and be a part of that community. That community has to stay That's strong. where it's at. So they're patronizing the patron. And now, and now mm-hmm. most of us just go on the internet and find somebody we like that we agree with because the Bible's that interpreted. We, that we agree so with. Many different we. Hey, listen, if we can go to three different churches and they all interpret the same Bible three different ways, but this one interprets the way I like it. This one didn't hurt standard. my feelings. Right. This one don't hurt my feelings. So this is the one I'm going to go to. Now, the other one is like, wait a minute, why am I all over there? Okay, well, maybe Jesus didn't drive on 20s. Maybe she did have Vogue's on his car, on his goat. Okay, well, come on back, man. For, let me read this comment for our, wow, our listening audience off the chain. Okay, so um, Alexander maybe. Burkett said, church folk need to be held accountable just like everyone else. I know times have changed, but it's still church and church has boundaries that should still be upheld. Thank you, One sir. And That's an idea. Yes. Amen. Yes, well, definitely. 110%. Um, Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors, the one that we probably like, who's that? The Marvel guy. The one that's dating uh, mm-hmm. Megan Good. She left her, I ain't gonna say she mm-hmm. left her past her husband for but it was a quick transition. He's a rebound guy. He's a rebound very guy. Fast. Quick transition. Very, very Our transition fast. time was questionable. She went out of the church and then they condemned her so much for how she dressed in her actual profession. She was like, All right, I'm out. I'm back to the street. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And I, I mean, not to say that because I don't know where her heart is at, but I'm sure she's good. Anyway, he tried to overturn the judge's decision. He put in a motion to overturn the judge's guilty decision. And, um, it got quickly denied. Now, what's interesting to me is, okay, you got this non-melanated broad that got you locked up. And I'm going to say got you locked up because you stayed in a relationship where you saw a red flag. And if you see one red flag, it's usually a parade to follow. And you lovely people tend to all, all the time think you can paint a red flag green. It don't say go. Like that, It's just like clothes in the washer. That red is going to bleed. Okay? It's going to come through. Leave it alone. If you see a toxic relationship, leave it alone, regardless of the color. But anyway, they had a picture of her and him on the bench. And I said, why is that? 
Why is that when a brother's down, he get a sister and she right there by his side? What's happening? He lowers his standards. He lowered his standard? I don't just mess with you. I just mess with you. Let's get this mess show started. Just mess with you. over a lot. That's always like, we should have been on this. Anyway, today's topic is men competing with women. High caliber men. High caliber female. How do we determine? Your girl got you covered. Let's get into it. I know Mr. Um, he lowered his standard. Hilarious. That's funny though. <laughs> that, that's how people feel. They feel like if they get, they get a Caucasian dude, they get a Caucasian bride, they you know what I mean? Like, okay, well, my standards are high now. You have to be that person. He lowered his standards, but the high standards is the reason why he in court. Uh! Oh, yeah. It, it, you got to play that game. If you in that game, you got to play it right. You got to enjoy uh, potato salad with raisins. I mean, you can't go. <laughs> that that If you in that lane, that's, the, that's where you got to go. No, thank you. Oh. I'm good. You think? Yeah. Okay. Mm. No, I don't. Well, well, let's let's first decide. Look, let's first decide what high standards and low standards are. Did you know what a high caliber male is considered? A Mitch. <laughs> no, they have to make over ten thousand dollars a month. Mm. Making over ten thousand dollars a month is considered a high caliber male. A high caliber female is what? How much does she have to make? Nothing. Nothing. And watch this. It's all about how she feels. Her how she feels. It's the only place in the in the world where it, it, I'm high standard. Why? Because I said here here here's a a fun because so and so told me I was and he a high caliber here's, male. Here's a fun exercise for the ladies on the thing. Write down everything you want in your dream man. Everything. Uh -huh. Height, weight, money, uh -huh. all that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. And then say, well, what do I do to deserve that? Everything. Just be here. Exactly. Just be here. Exactly. Just and, be and, here. And, 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 and I'm like, at 50, there's nothing you can do brand new for me. I can't steal any virginity. None. You've done now, it all. And I'm supposed to that. pay full price. Now, you making that statement that you made, it's like, what do I have to do to get that? Is mm -hmm. why we have this topic. Men competing with women. I notice men have an issue when they can't meet your standards. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything else. Let, let me say, let me say. Men have an issue and always has have a rebuttal and always want to throw a woman. You compete with a female because she don't want you or you can't meet her standards. And you want to get upset and say, hey, that's not a high caliber male, a high or or argue the fact of what I air quotes for the listening audience society deems a high caliber male is, and you want to argue with a female because she don't want to deal with you making just that amount. I feel you, Cornell. Ten thousand, he said, ten thousand dollars a month. I'm at the bottom of the total pole, the very bottom. <laughs> look, look, and and I'm with Cornell on this, and I don't and caveman. Everyone knows that I'm a caveman. Okay. I don't equate my wallet with my worth. And and women that sit here and be like, you can't pay all my bills. No, I can't. So you pay all of them instead of coming over here and we work together and we build something. No, you pay all of them because I can't pay all of them. Sound like he competing with us, Nick. No, I am not. I am like going to do what you do. Oh, he big man. Am I? Okay, well, hey, I'm telling you, go ahead and do what you do. No, I'm not here to pay all your bills. I am here to protect and provide. Now, if I can only provide this, if you can't work with that, beat it. But I am not the regular dude. A regular dude will cry and fight with you. I'm just like, man, beast. 
But but watch this. How often is it that a man that knows he not even in your realm, and I'm speaking for the sake of the, you know the show, uh-huh. he's not even on your level, but he's gonna come and approach you and act as if he's on your level. We, we've all dealt with it, and then get upset when he can't even keep up on the conversation. And you're like, what word is that in the dictionary? X, ask, X, X. That's a that's a word. You know what I mean? X. You gotta I be specific. You, you gotta be Pacific, Nate. Pacific. No, I ask you. I ask you what I wanted to ask you. Okay, <laughs> you specifically right. asked you. Okay, because, so this is a legitimate question. Because every squirrel gets a nut every now and then. So I'm gonna shoot my shot, even though I'm not. And the B move is well, you all you took you all out anyway, and to be sassy. Sassy was the word I was looking for. With you, after I don't get it, a man just say, "Hey, I lost the fight." It, it, you could break this down so many ways. Me and Cornell was fighting. He beat me up. Two weeks from now, he down at the bar buying me a beer. It ain't okay. like I'm gonna go kill him. I'm gonna go get my no, gun. But, that, but that's off topic for what it's we did over here. It's the same no, thing. no, no. Watch this. So let's let's go with this question. If a woman brings 10k a month, most mm-hmm. men can't handle that. And there's competition. Come on, girl. Come mm-hmm. on, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Come on. So what so what do you do? You say, come on, girl. You okay with that? Yes, yes. Because guess what? Oprah doesn't have a whole bunch of dudes lined up. We don't know that. I'm just hypothetical. Okay. But the the, mul- the women that think they need a man that work more than them. No, guess what? If I made twenty thousand a month. And I dated you exclusively. Do you you think you just got to just date me, or don't you think that you are gonna have to do some puffy like stuff to keep me around? Puffy don't look super good, but he At has all. some weird. St- exactly, but guess what? His money, if to be around that money, you have to earn it some way. So why don't you get a dude just making six thousand a month and work with him? You want this big dude here? <clears throat> you want to be find a king? And you never, you're, you're never taught to be a queen. Meaning, like, okay, uh, I, you're a nurse, right, Mel? You're a nurse. I'm not just school to be a nurse. Okay. Well, go ahead. <laughs> medical <laughs> moment. Medical <laughs> moment. I'm a radio personality. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right. You went to school for that. Yes. What schooling do you have to be with a high caliber man making that type of money? What skills do you have? Oh, I have one amazing one. skills. Because Dang. I was, watch this, because I was brought up with wives. I saw wise that village back to the village. And, and that here's the thing, the King, the King has to choose the queen. You're right. And there's a lot of people that's sitting there trying to choose a King, but listen, you can't put, never mind. Here you go. If if, 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 as your friend and call him a King as your friend, how much money would you give to save my life? How much money would I give to save your life? Yes. Don't be trying to take out no ransom, but I, I'll go there. Thank you. So I'm irreplaceable to somebody. So it ain't about the money. But everyone thinks it's about the money. It's about my presence. Yes. But people, oh, you don't make 10 million, uh, 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 10 million a, a, a week. I'm like, but my presence in your life should supersede all of that. Because if your child... If someone's child, someone, let's just put it out there, was to leave, there was no amount of money that can ease their pain that they wouldn't give to have back. So you counting on my high caliber being in my pocket, you're looking in the wrong place. Well, well society is. And I'm going to go into detail as far as, you know, all the other things to be considered a air quotes for the listening audience, high caliber male. But I noticed that when we want, okay, you choose us. Right. But when we want what we want, it's up to us because we have a choice to say yay or nay. But if we want what we want and they're not producing, why are you mad? I'm not even giving you a chance. Wait, I, I this happens. This happens with the brothers now. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I don't know. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick no. Nick, I haven't no. tried to date the brothers. Wait, but, okay. But here's the thing: if they cannot, or if they feel as though they cannot appease or appeal to you they want to bash you Ooh, child, because, come on. Of, because of their shortcomings right. you can't do this so you're upset and a lot of women let me say this 
So I'm, I, I listened to, what was his name? Kevin Samuels back in the day? Well, not that far back, but rest his soul. Right. When he would talk, he was like, well, what qualifies you as this? Well, first of all, I'm here. You chose me. Now, you have a lot of women who are choosing men. That's why they're putting up with a whole lot of mess that they have. But if you are accustomed to a certain lifestyle, and the law has it that way when you're married to somebody, that's why you got to pay alimony. But if you are accustomed to a certain lifestyle, why would I sit there and get in a relationship with somebody where I can't even sustain my own lifestyle? Can you take care of yourself? If you can take care of yourself and I can take care of myself, we're good. But if you cannot take care of yourself and you come up front with, with the representative like you can, and I'm this and I'm that, and now you are empty in my bank account, mm -hmm. that's a problem. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You have to have the standards and you have to set your standards. And when they want to get sassy, here's, here's what I say. <clears throat> At what point does the lion care what the lamb thinks? When he's the lamb in a lion's costume. Well, if he if he if he get it that good, then you he has to show he has to show that he's a lion. He can't just be in a costume, just like a man has to show he's a man. He can't but wear a what, costume. But what happens? What happens? They get inferior, and then they want to compete with the female and tell her or try to tear down her self esteem and tell her what she's not or well, she's that, making more money. Well, there you have the, there you have the red flag in itself, the big giant red flag. If he's competing with you on any level, I. would me personally looks down upon that male. Wait, let, I, I got to go to this comment. This here is a good one. Mm -hmm. oh, this here is a know. good one. Okay. Yeah, get your glasses, old man. Oh, don't get put them. your glasses on. That's worse. You look just like them. You look <laughs> like that power bottle. Okay. The difference you just called me a power bottle, my life. <laughs> the difference between a lion and a gazelle is the gazelle stops running when it is no longer being chased. But the lion has to continue to run or he doesn't eat. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like that. Right, but uh, to counterpoint that, you know, brothers and sisters of the congregation, blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, uh, if you change, but guess what? I used to call, you know, women, certain type of women, wildebeest. Because if you run in a straight line, you're gonna, it's easy hunt. So if you don't want it, if, if to survive, you have to eat a wildebeest. Because gazelles are nice and they taste delicious. The meat's so tender as a lion, but there are other alternatives. There's wildebeest everywhere, so wildebeest are easy to catch. Okay, so why are you guys upset when we say you have know. to date us? No, I mean talk to us. I, 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 I don't know. Me. Where the fellas at? Come on in here. Yeah, I, I don't Isn't know. Isn't it interesting? Come on in the room. Watch, watch this, Nick. Isn't it interesting how? Oh, okay. Well, you got to deserve this dinner. Or I'm taking you out once. Okay, this is not it. Chase, Chase, Chase. Okay, so I see you, Dwayne. Chase. The, the, the marketplace is that. The $40. The $40. The $40 killed that. I don't have to. And if you're not worthy enough, a person won't. Won't. Or won't for long. Not, not the $40. But it killed you. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. No, he did not get a you are right. okay, can I, can I, can I, yeah, you definitely can. We're doing it. You're right. Yeah, we the market's saturated. Whatever is given. The market is saturated. And and it's sad. Y'all outnumber us 30 to 1 or whatever to 1. And then most of them, low morals and don't really have anything. And if all I'm looking for is is, is one thing or, or something to satisfy my appetite, I'll stop at Taco Bell every now and then. I, I'll stop at Taco Bell. And it just filled me up. It's going to hurt on the way out. But it ain't nutritious. But I mean, hey, every now and then a brother got to stop at Taco Bell. And if I keep stopping at Taco Bell, I'll get a taste for Taco Bell. And I ain't going to want to go to Ruth Chris. Now I'm looking at you funny. So, I mean, it's the market. It's just the I way things are. Well, so it's us. <laughs> He's so funny talking about some Leave something for the next show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Oh, oh, no, no. Let, let me. Go. Let's go here. We got a lady on here. Men don't have to chase women anymore. Women have lowered their standards. So uh, that actually says, okay. Uh, Dwayne Towns Senior said, "Hold on, you letting go of too much." Nate. They don't listen, D. They don't listen. It's, I'll say same thing next week. They, it'll be brand new again next week. <laughs> okay, I like this one. So Cornell Stevens said, I'm not upset if a woman reject me, H. I'll keep it moving and move on to the next. 
So that's yeah. where that's where you have is overly money. saturated. Right. And and women Brother, have to you can't you can't take me to Taco Bell. Okay, well, guess what? And I got to unless, more. unless mm -hmm. I want to go. But that's your choice. But if you tell me no, that don't mean I ain't going to eat. Oh, damn. No, no, I expect you to eat. Right. So, right. I mean, but you it, can't get up, but you can't get upset and call me bougie and be upset right. at me because I don't want that. You're absolutely right. And that takes me right back. At what point does the lion care what the lamb thinks? So if I got to take you when, when he can't be with her. Exactly. Guess what? You don't want to be with me anyway, because I'm taking you to Taco Bell. So you don't want to be with me. And I'm mad. So why are you? Why do you even care? You don't want to be with me anyway. This, watch this. I'm not upset. It's you guys that get upset. Well, now, here's the, the thing. Here's the <laughs> here's the thing. What we look at like that Taco Bell to me, mm -hmm. you pulling up a Taco Bell with me in the car. I'm just going to go. Boom. In my mind, I was like, oh, this this because, you know, we look at longevity. And you taking me to Taco Bell means, oh, okay. So I know that if I'm in a relationship with this guy, we're going to be at Taco Bell. And then I'm like, well, I want to go out. And in his head, I know I'm a here. Well, I, the first date was Taco Bell. What you think? Now you want to do this? I took mm. you to Taco Bell. You should have said that then. I'm mm. telling you. That, mm. that's, where, that's where it goes. I'm looking at longevity and I need to see I, what. I look at that the, 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 the total different way. I mean, you have okay, to go ahead. communication. You have to know where he stands. Maybe he's saving up for something. It's so many variables in it. If you judge every move he makes, you lose a lot of quality in good people. And I mean, because you, you. I, I got you. Mm -hmm. I, I got you. Derek Briggs said, <laughs> Derek, that's your last name now? Okay, I see your face. <laughs> people be so focused on where they are eating. With some or what someone is wearing or have, and never speak to the inner person. Wow! Give, give, amen. Yes, sir. He's okay. coming in a Honda. Let, let me let me say this because we need to be dated. Thank you. Okay. So that's why that is. Now, I hear you. I'm about to tear this apart, though. If I see you across the room, I'm not gonna say, "Oh, his inner self is beautiful." No Neither are we. Wait, wait. Oh, he has a wonderful personality. Look at him and his personality. Yeah. No, I'm going to be looking at what you're wearing mm -hmm. because, again, we like to be dated. How is this person going to look on a date? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm being, and I know it seems shallow, but it's the it truth. Well, it, 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 it's the truth. I know somebody who sat there and said, This guy wanted to marry her. She said, I will not marry him. I said, Why not? He's so nice. She said, Because I can't imagine him waiting at the altar with me because he don't look good in suits. So now she's single and still looking at 50. No, watch this. No, she is not. Okay. All right. Well, she hey. married, wait a minute. She married somebody who treats her amazing mm -hmm. and he dresses well. Okay. So she and said, he come like, on seven with your lucky ass. Come on. No, no it, it's that. all about, listen, it's all about this. And I hear you say, oh, now she's single. Let's, let's be clear. Every mm -hmm. single person that under the sound of my voice can be married. Yes. Every single one of us. It's who you choose to marry. Am I willing? Whose stuff am I going to put up with? Am I willing to deal with the mess that they have or they have? If you are not, guess what? Boom. And Nick is a prime example. She'd be like, mm -hmm. I see you. So it's all, it's all about choices. The same here. Mel, can you be married? I could have been married a million times over. No, no, no. Because no, I, no, no. what I am no. not going to put up with, why should I sign up to be miserable? Why should I sign up? Because I see something in you, even though they see something in me. But that's not where it's at. I can only speak for me. And mm -hmm. if I see, if I like a church, a God fearing man, and we're dating, and you want to marry me, and you tell me that you're mad at God, it's over. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to deal with you because I know it's an ongoing fight. Mm -hmm. And Listen. I'm not going to be battling in my fight. No, mm -hmm. God fearing man, yes, we love the Lord. Okay, boom. I, don't, I shouldn't have to argue, be like, okay, well, we praying over the food. Oh, I don't like to pray. I'm not about to sign up for that because that's right. not what I do. Marriage, so, like medicine, all have side effects. Well, Read yes, we're going to wait. Read the fine print. It depends, it depends on the side effect. So do right. you deal with this guy? Nope, I ain't dealing with that person. Am I going to deal with somebody that sit there, oh, he don't have no job. Oh, I'm not, I'm, I do construction, so you only work how long? Six and months. Six months. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. In my mind, the way I be breaking numbers down in my mind, uh -huh. you wouldn't believe it. 
because <laughs> I was like, oh, that's going to take that. That's going to do that. I like to travel. OK, so that means that I have to pay for both our plane tickets because mm -hmm. he doesn't work in the winter. No. Do I want that? No, I don't want that stress. That's I'm why I'm married now. Uh, huh? That's, I said, that's why I'm married to you now. No. <laughs> I don't want that stress. And it's like, nope, not dealing with that. They'd be like, oh, you're pretty picky. Yes, I can. But we have that option. And you, and what is it? One in eight? It's one in eight now. Mm -hmm. One eight women to one man. And so there's a lot of gay men. Those, so give me those. Give me those eight. Then there's a lot of incarcerated. That, that, and that's right. that's, incarcerated. That's, that's, so that's give me that eight. I'm gonna that's 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 watch this. But you have somebody that's gonna sit there, and you can give them forty dollars, and they'll be your side chick, and they're okay with it. That's so what someone over in the comments said, that's what she does. Now, what if he is well paid tax accountant that works five months of the year? Okay. If your finances is good and you can sustain yourself, mm -hmm. that's what it's about. If you can sustain yourself. Well, we back in it, Mel. We're I got good. Zirconia over here waiting on you now. And guess what? I don't even know it's the Cubic Zirconia. Because you, you are a hot yeah. man. man. But I do, because I'm going to look through it and see the purity. Damn. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to look through it and see the purity. But am I going to just do it just like, oh, let me check and see if it's real. No, that's usually somebody who don't have anything. That's going to say, okay, let me see how much this is appraised at. Right. Okay, let's see here. You can't judge a book by its cover. Let, I'm going to post this one. Hold on. That's my girl. Okay, wait. Um, you can't judge a book by by the cover. You have to open it up and read a few chapters. There is someone for everyone, but never settle for someone who does not match what you are looking for in a companion. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Well, it means exactly. me to me. Any and more it, than I am. To... Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, the way I was saying, we back in, Nate. You back in? Yeah. That's right, D. We ain't never out the game, baby. <laughs> when I'm on the mic. But see, here's, here's where the problem is at. When you have men or you have a female who makes she's a high caliber female That's and you know this because you we had this conversation some years ago nate a high caliber female but you have a male who's feeling inferior because he's not making as much as she is and try to knock her down a bunch of pegs mm -hmm. and work on her self-esteem mm -hmm. or like you say you open a book and you're like okay well i don't even want you for your money we need to have some type of conversation but here's the thing you, we you don't have, want we don't want one that we go ahead. We want you to date us not for who we are, but what we are. Right. But guess what? How many men have this training? This is why I keep on saying the importance of men in, in boys' lives. I uh, have a mentor or something, something the man only iron sharpens iron. Now you got emotional men that were raised by their mama and grandma who never stopped to one of our trainings and don't understand. Their mom and their grandma's always did stuff for them. Now they're coming to you, six foot four, pretty skin, good elder barge hair with a nice voice and, and a drive a nice car because his mama got him. And he comes to you and he pulls you. Don't let his grade affect my grade because he, that's the way he was brought up. And he doesn't understand that, hey, I don't care how much money a woman makes. I am still the leader of this. This is my ship. Okay. And a lot of women, listen, I get I, I get accosted in the streets, thanks to you, Mel, and they love the show and they've been talking about me. And I've noticed all the women that agree with me usually come from a male household where there was a father, a grandfather, and an uncle that spoke into them and was in their life. The women that really don't, now this is just what I'm seeing. Right. I'm crazy. I'm, I'm a caveman. So there's a difference in understanding how you were raised. Now, take that to the men. If he doesn't know what a man is supposed to do and he has the costume on and you fall for that costume, that's on you. Red flags are red flags. Now, if he comes from that, he got the man costume on and he got a good one. He paid money for it. Six, four, broad chest, you know, nine to 12 inches hanging. All that's beautiful. But it's not trained right. Why do I have 12 <laughs> inches and I'm impotent? But you fell. He got 12 inches. Oh my God. He's the right man for me. And Lord has sent him and this, that, and other. But you not if it don't work. Not if it don't work. Exactly. But you, don't work, you, that's that's you fail for the costume. 
<laughs> not really, because I need to see if it's going to get hard. If it ain't going to get hard, then, bro, we can't do nothing. Oh, I know yeah. how to get them hard without even having I sex. knew that Thank you would have concentrated on that. You piece there. <laughs> Pinpoint. Wrong me. I I know. Know. Okay, let me see. Let me let me see uh, if I can brush against the you. The trick uh, nasty the portion of the show will be hosted by Nick. If I <laughs> see it get hard, then yeah, we but might be able point, to work something out. <laughs> you fail for the costume. I don't listen. I like I said, I don't wear Nike. This is my club hammer, my my, my thing. So if, if it don't have nothing to do with me, I don't wear it. So that's why I'm always in the same thing. I am Prince Akeem. I am just an ordinary American exchange student. You don't have to see my wallet. I don't show my wallet. What I drive, what I wear, nothing. If you want to get to me, I am the value of me. I don't care if I don't work six months a year. If you don't like it, eh. now if you get with these men that are sassy and mad because you don't like me, Mel, so you don't like me because you bougie and this, that, and other, you should say, okay. Move on. He oh, you already you know. Me. You already know that. Already, yeah, don't yeah. in turn. Don't in turn think he's sassy for not being mad at you. He's never on your level. He's not on your level, Mel. Clearly. So why are you worried about that? Clear, clearly. Now let's talk about what an actual real well-rounded or high caliber male is. Because a lot of we started with the 10,000 a month. Um <laughs> well-rounded. Mm -hmm. Uh wisdom. Mm -hmm. Look, you like, okay, a minute. Mm -hmm. Ask questions. Excuse me? Ask questions. Hmm. Like a high caliber male, he cares about what you what do you like? You know, her input, not the not the what's your thing? The uh mm. <laughs> that's, that's my thing, Captain Caveman. That, that's your thing. Um, and also challenging, challenging minds. Let's see what your thought process is. Just that's what you do, the agitator. You challenge our mind. But here's the you thing. Mm -hmm. Huh? As a man, I have to understand that everything is my fault, good or bad. I, I am the villain. Wait, wait, let me finish. <laughs> shows interesting, shows interest in learning inside and outside. And what's important is his happiness. I can't argue with that. I cannot either. I said, now you but know. His happiness what? comes first. Absolutely. Thank you. A absolutely. I believe that. Yeah, his I believe that wholeheartedly. So if yeah. you take it back in time when you're dealing with kings and queens, and y'all so callous with this whole kings and queens, uh -uh, you, that's earned. That is so earned. Like, you need to earn that title. Hey, mm -hmm. good morning, king. Good morning, queen. And then you calling somebody else that's taking $40. And I'm, I said it. Queen. Is she really like you got to hold yourself to a higher standard? If the, if you are going to be called that and you are going to accept that, know that it's a lot that comes with that title. Oh yeah, it's a lot. It, that that's everything is, that that comes with being a man. I'm but I noticed, but I noticed being brought up and watching husbands and wives, they make sure that their husbands are taken care of. And those are the now, ones that stay married. Mm -hmm. And those and are the now, ones. Uh, you know, they're not the ones to stay married. They, they're not right. I'm like, no, they, no, they're not. Don't do that, Nate. Don't do that. And I can, I can tell you from experience. They I know. are not to stay married. Uh, okay. Been there, done that I, many times. I am. I'm not doing it no more. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Not. So it, it was just not. all. I I, I'm going to. I'm going to tell you. I earned my title of queen. Mm -hmm. I've right. earned it. Right, 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 right. So I've definitely earned it. Everything so, that I've been I, through. Nate, Next year, I've earned that title. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so I, hey, so if I, I'm gonna be bougie or whatever, and fine, I'm bougie. I want. I'm. I'm gonna be high caliber. I'm expecting roof, Chris. I want all of that because I've done everything that an actual woman is supposed to do, and this is the result. Nah, you did I that. Want with a, I want it all, and you if that, that means I'll never be on another Cornell. date, then guess what? I'll be happy dating my damn okay. self. Well, how okay. do you okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Nick, did you hear him? He said you did that with Cornell. You didn't do it with him. Yeah, you 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 placed your value with uh, uh Dwayne Thompson. You, you did all that stuff. You he, he didn't expect you, he didn't like it that you washed his toenails and stuff like that, and he left you. So why am I paying for what he did? I'm not him, I'm not Dwayne. Three different types of dudes, and they all end up turning out and being the same man. Got you. 
So what's the common that's denominator? Where the at. That's where the problem is. What's the common denominator? What's the they common all end up being the same, and there are three different types of dudes. Okay, did they, did they call each other and say, hey, 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 uh, hey, Dwayne, hey, hey, Dwayne, what did you do when she did this? What? Hold on, let me get John on the line. John, what did you do when Nick did this? Yeah, man, I'm going to do that too. Uh -huh, no, yeah. They don't know each other. Okay, oh, do not right, know each other. Okay, wait, 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 okay, wait. They don't know each other. Three different type of people that end up being the same, which means that you're attracted to one type of person. And you bring it out of them. Three different How? people. That, okay, well, that's not the show. show. Let's stay focused to why these men be competing with these women. Like three different people. That's why I was like, what the hell? Listen. I'm doing everything Wait, that I'm supposed to do. So Dwayne said he cooks better than Ruth Chris. Well, hey, now, that's right. That, what, hey, his, his, okay, his chicken loaf is can delicious. I, can, I ask you, can I ask you this, uh, Dwayne? You cook better than Ruth Chris, I'm sure, because it's a restaurant. It's just the experience, the ambiance. Women like to be dated. And it, it seems as if if you can't afford to date her, you want to slander her. The, hey, what and, is and that, that about? Run that and run that. He's not a man. He has on the uniform. Run away from him. Here, Mel, I told you this once before. Do you remember what I keep in my truck? What? Your music? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. In me, in my truck at all times. Okay. What about it? I keep a picnic basket and I'll stop at Taco Bell, throw something in a picnic basket. I got the, the plastic champagne glasses. I'll go sit out the park with a blanket. That's the ambiance. That's, That's my quality. So watch this, Nate. Are you this is your car? As huh? a female, as a female, how many other people did you do this with? It doesn't matter. Right. I'm doing it with you. Oh, it many... doesn't matter to us. Okay. It, does, it doesn't matter. I'm doing it with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Walk right into it. Yesterday you did it with ready? You ready? The you day ready? before you did it with Shanae. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready, Nate. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go ahead. What you got? I, I feel the same way the way you is with your body and all your exes and all your bodies. So who, who else you did this with? Oh, throw go! That was amazing. I didn't teach you that. So you you equating how I take you out on a date the same way, and you get mad at me for saying my past don't matter. You hear the silence, audience? Do you hear the silence? Oh, no, I, I got something to say. I thought you was finishing. Oh, that, that was the, oh, that was a pause. That was it. Dramatic. It was dramatic. Oh, that that was like that was a no ditty. <laughs> hey hey hey! Listen, the PNC. That's when you find the, the, the value of a real man. The What's PNC. the PNC? Can what I say it? Yeah, go ahead. The post nut conversation. That's when you find who a real man is. Okay. So how do we, what's that conversation? Are y'all talking afterwards? Or are we having Hey, hey, whatever it is, that's what you look at. The PNC. That's what, okay. So if you stay, then what? That means, okay, it's something? You're going to find out the truth about him. Because he's oh, not man. hunting out of hunger he's no longer hunting out of hunger hunger uh, now he's got to talk and if he's around you'll see exactly who he in who he is after the pnc yeah you're right after, well, but, yeah, but after that's the PNC, you're right yeah okay, but it's, who he is prior to it because you're not, gonna, you're not going to get the opportunity to sleep with me and I don't know you. But guess what? In that time, I'm telling you, yeah, I make I made 17 grand last week. Yeah, I live in Coitville and I got a mansion. Yeah, uh, I ain't got no baby mamas. Yeah, I'm telling you what you want to hear. Okay, I, and hear that. But what you won't do is use what you just use as far as like the picnic basket syndrome with me. Well, Talk you won't use, you you use you your baby shoe with me. You use that with somebody else. No, but watch this. But you won't be able to say, "Well, did you do that with this dude? Did you?" You're not gonna get that because okay. if I'm giving my if I'm giving myself to you, you must mean something. Got you. But guess what? Are you giving me something that you never gave anyone else? Probably. Really? At fifty? Uh huh. Oh, definitely at fifty. Yeah. So something that has never been done or used before, you're gonna give to me if I'm okay. special. If you're, if I marry you, you special, yeah. I might, I might. I haven't done it all, sir. 
Okay. I, well, I, I mean, it, it, that's cool. And no, I mean, your, mind, your will's going like, okay. Hey, I, 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 this ain't Nick's show because we can go Nick way if you. We can go to Nick. What's that? Oh, yeah. We can go. Yeah, I'm over on that side. I can still hear you. Yeah, I, know. I, I, I was on the wrong side. I forgot yeah. your name, but I forgot we on the air. We on the air. Yeah, anyway, yeah. um, nah, yeah, mm -mm. I, no, been there, done that. Nope, 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 and nope. But there are some things that I haven't done yet that I'm waiting on that one special person, which I'll probably never see. So it just won't get see done. that. That's that's a negative mindset. But don't <laughs> see that person that's gonna be competing with you because that's why. That's the biggest red flag there is. The only way we could compete is on the basketball court. There we talk. That's and we've seen how that went. I play you for your heart. Damn. Oh, I need. Oh, what? Ah, damn. I'm uh, bodying you up. Back it down. Back it down. You're about look, you keep talking good smack. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> like it depends on what's on the line. But you you cannot, you can't project onto somebody else the experiences that you had with someone else. Exactly. That's one. Two, you women, come on now with this whole $40. We said it at the beginning of the show. If she gonna take $40, now you just lowering the standard. The whole the whole thing. Oh, well, but what's the, right. And guess what? I'm not dealing I'm just not dealing with somebody who has nothing. I am being honest with you. You, you know why? Because I should not have to carry it. I'm trying I'm trying to get over. You're absolutely what? right. And a man, his position is to provide you, provide for you and protect you. Now, all we're talking about right protect now. Protect my heart. All of that. Protect your spirit, your soul, your heart, everything. But he has to provide. But now all we are is in negotiations for the contract. Are you going to stay here for $600 million Or do you need, can I get away with $200 million? Can I be honest? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be flat out. I'm being so transparent right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can be cool, but I am here. I signed up. This was the contract. Right. That's, that's what you need. Break, no contract. If you break the contract, I'm out. Well, guess what? You can't fish at McCauvey's Lake. You got to go in there. Huh? You go. <laughs> You're right. But you got to go out for that type of fish. You got to go out to, to the ocean. You got to have a chartered boat. You're not going to catch a marlin out at Mosquito. So you're coming here at Mosquito Lake telling us that we ain't good enough. And we're like, nigga, ain't no I marlin. Ain't I'm going to get bit. Right. I ain't going. I ain't right. even going. Right. But guess what? I'm saying, hey, don't, mar don't worry about what these trout and these guppies and these catfish are saying because you're fishing for marlins. So don't come to Mosquito or don't go to McCalvey's Lake. When you want to find a marlin, you have to go where marlins are. So you're oh, down here. You're down here at Mosquito Lake talking about I ain't seen a shark or a stingray. This place is wrong. And then a gut, a then a, a trout, a big mouth bass come up to you and say, "Yeah, girl, did that nothing." You be like, "Uh, no, I'm not wasting my bait." And you mad at the big mouth bass for doing big mouth bass stuff? I don't like fish. <laughs> Me neither. Now, here's the thing, though. Me neither. <laughs> my whole sermon. Here's the thing, though. You can't Don't be you. upset with Thank the you. type of you can't be upset with the type of guy that you choose in that okay. arena. Okay. But I have noticed when you have somebody who I'm gonna put air quotes because of the way society determined was a high caliber male mm -hmm. and was a high caliber female. And I noticed that. The, I noticed that the high caliber female is someone who is not, who doesn't have a large, uh, what is that? Uh, GDR, which your BD, you got the BDR, yeah. GDR right. or a DR, uh -huh. which her is whole facts. her whole facts her, is still clean. Her whole facts is clean. Okay. Let's facts. go that route. There you go. Yeah, she has a, a good whole facts values, right? You know, morals and values. And that's key, but you have that high caliber guy who feel like he can treat her any type of way. Now I was dating one guy, which I thought was hilarious because I'm so down to earth and chill. He thought that I was the best. He was the best person I ever had. He was like, I'm not, I was like, no, yeah. let me tell you. Right, right. But here's what I don't do. I don't say who I dealt with prior. And I noticed that a lot of guys, guys don't even ask you who you, who you were with prior. They're the like, internet. okay, my husband, and they know that person. It's on the internet. But then when he found out, he was like, oh, oh, I don't talk much. And mm -hmm. you're not going to get that out of me. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. 
Clearly, not it, it, it was clear he didn't know who Mel was because he wouldn't have said nothing stupid like that. Man. I was, I was, I was done. If you watch it, sir, you, I'm sorry. Mel is a big <laughs> fish. Mel is a big fish in a small pond. Mel is a big fish. So and catch I, him, catch I, him, I him. go out to the big, I got to get to big water because the fish bowl gets too small. Exactly. But if you hang around in the small pond, then I'm going to think I can catch you with worms. And I don't need no fancy boat no more. I can stand on the on the on the dock. And it's not gonna happen because I'm exactly. not gonna, it's not, I'm not gonna be there. And here's the thing: it seems as if the self-esteem or the guys who and I'm I'm just using me overall as an example, lovely people here. Let's get get that clear. You have somebody who's doing it, handling their business, and this guy is there, and then you're upset that she won't give you a chance, and then you want to slander her, and you didn't even you don't even know her. Wait, why are you? I don't care what someone says about me. It, no, guess what? No, I, I, I get that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about men com competing with women, and right. that's what happens. So I they know. end up being a little spicy, right? And I'm telling you, that the biggest, that's the biggest red flag. And leave them, and, and, and it's a what they say. because they have a problem with fixing their woman's plate. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? Whoa, 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 whoa. With fixing their woman's plate, but to fix their boy's plate. Now tell me if that ain't spicy. Ugh, that 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 didn't go down right. That wait, wait. I have water there. Let me let me get my tea. I'm out of coffee. I, I gotta go on a break. That was <laughs> nasty. Ugh. So your boy, you like all dude, I got your plate, but you can't fix your woman's plate. First of all, I don't I don't fix my own plate when my wife is around. I I I don't. I am Captain Caveman. Call it what you I want. I heard you, I'm but did you hear what I said? Let's talk right, about this. Right, Let's talk right. About I'm, not, I'm not going to fix it. Hey, dude, uh, the spoons are in that room. Dude, no. Huh. Hold on, hold on. I got a mint, y'all, not my tooth. <laughs> That's it. Man. I got I was nervous. Okay. You know what? I want to talk about this one. A great decision needs a 24-hour thought process. Let me say something um, to that, which I really love. When you are having a conversation and some people feel like, oh, they want to talk right now and you're not ready to talk at that moment and they don't get it. Now, I know this is off topic. It's that right there. Every great decision takes a 24 hour process before you speak. Take some time and you'd be like, OK, I can't talk right now. Yeah, you're right. And, 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 I, 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 and, if, they, and if they force you to talk, listen. Well, hey. OK. Here's a con <laughs> here's a comment to what I just said about he can't fix his woman's plate, but he fixed his homeboy's plate. I totally agree. I endorse that comment. Uh <laughs> I, was, I was thinking the same right. thing. It's like to put a mini, and that's that's yeah, well, how, how right often have you seen that? Like I've never seen it. I don't run I haven't place. either. I've not seen it. No, okay. Tell me this. Have you fixed your homegirl's plate? No. Hell no. Really? No. Now, see, I have. Girl, my house is your house. Did you, you know oh. where everything at? Oh. Bye. Oh. I thought you were talking about me. You said home, girl. My fault. I my home. Yeah. But if no, if you're at a cookout, it's at your family's function. Here you go. Bam. No. They'd be like, oh, can you give me this? See, and I no. don't that for you send that. I don't see nothing wrong with that. If you sitting down and you like, boom, and I understand the injury or something like that. But if you sitting down and you be like, oh, can you grab me some cake? You can't do that. Mm. I have made a plate. My grandfather's. I used to. I come oh, from a long line. Yeah, that's good. Right. Okay. I see, piece a of cake. Line. A piece of cake. Or, Nick, can you grab me a piece of cake or can you grab me a pop? Yeah. But just fixing your whole entire plate. You, you out your river. See, you I, I and, and you know what? And I wanted to. And see that. See, I wouldn't think nothing of that because I'd be like, oh, okay, boom. And yeah, you said your grandfather's like your aunts or whatever. I just wanted to see how you can see how society is. So a guy fixing a guy's plate is like taboo. Right. But a woman, hey. a woman fixing a woman's plate is just like, okay. Now, if I cook something and she's like, Nick, can you bring me something? You, you, you fixed all that? Can you bring? Then yes, I will fix because you're not there. But if you at my house and I don't cook something, you want to, girl, you know where everything at, check it out in the kitchen and get it. But if you're not there and you're asking me to bring you a plate, then yes, I'll fix it for you and I'll bring it to you. Hmm. Well, I am. Um, yeah, I come from a long line. My both grandfathers, my father came home and sat down, and a plate was brought to them. 
So that's how I was raised. Mm -hmm. But with that comes responsibility. My wife ain't going to bring me no plate after I ain't done nothing or um whatever. I have, you have to earn that stuff. That that yeah, comes absolutely. in man. You you that definitely do. Man. You definitely do. You know it is so interesting how people project project what they do and think that everybody does the exact same thing when that is inaccurate. Well, we all are guilty of that. And that's and that's tragic. That's why I have this platform. It's an open forum just to speak. What's your opinion? What's your thoughts? And I haven't because I won't project on like what I've been through. I'm not going to project that onto someone else. Just like I, you know, and it's probably, look, I probably am projecting because I know like my upbringing and I had thought forever that everybody had my upbringing. Remember I said that as a child, I thought everybody went home, they ate their lunch, ironed their school clothes, you know what I mean? And it was a whole different thing. And I was looking at a comment, and that's funny because guess what? I'm not. Uh, somebody was talking about, oh, you play against Th that person don't know me from Adam. And if they knew me, they would definitely know. Oh, okay. But you look at somebody and you think that, oh, okay, they may have done this. They may have done that. No, no. That's why I keep on saying communication is not the key. Now, see, here, <laughs> right, it's not, especially when you don't know the people, but keep your views are your views. Um, like, okay, here's now I love this one. All right, Bill. I'm usually the pray, the plate bringer kids first and everybody's different. Yep. I'm different. And see, I wouldn't have a problem with that, but watch this. So let me say this. Would you have a problem with running your wife's bath water? No, I do that often. Having, and having her house shoes at the door when she gets off work. No, not at all. Okay. Would you have a problem running your girlfriend's, this is prior to being married, running your girlfriend's bathwater and no. having her house shoes at the door? Not at all. Okay. What's your thoughts, Nick? Would you have a problem running your husband's bathwater mm -hmm. and having his house shoes at the door? Nope. Boyfriend neither. Well, okay. I have to be agitatory. Whatever. Yeah. I don't have that no problem doing that. Okay, to be, to be agitatory uh -huh. on that <clears throat> as a king, you look at that as being romantic or wooing a woman. As a queen, isn't that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> this cat about to get choked out. I'm asking. Oh. You own high caliber. I make 10 grand a month. Just that another. That should that should be part oh, of it. Okay. Okay, Listen, I'm going to say this. As a queen, uh -huh. yes, that is your job to cater to your king. But that king yeah. has to okay, make sure so he's taking care of the king. We're not talking kings and queens here because some, somehow or another the king ain't got jewels. But, A, oh. he's your king if you chose him. So that stuff that you do should as long be... As he's my boyfriend. He just my boyfriend. Okay, okay. But, but, he has but, it, but his boyfriend taking care of home, though. See, see so you know what? Let me, let me say this. Him. Here's the difference. Here's the thing. Why are we treating boyfriends like husbands? Can't argue. Mm -hmm. That's where the problem is at for me. Yeah. Man. Or the guy, <laughs> look, or, with that, and then they don't want to. Look, look the guy in the comments. The whole facts is not off the chain because of Listen, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then they have a problem because. Uh, yeah. They have a problem. They end up having a problem. Yes, but uh, listen, I, I can't argue. You, right, you here's, and and you here's the thing: off. you want, you want. Okay, I want a good woman. I want her to do this and that. Blah 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 blah. She's doing everything, I guess, to win you. I don't know if that's what you know the proper term to say. Okay, well, I'm gonna get him. He's gonna marry me, so I'm gonna do all these wifely duties to a boyfriend, and then y'all split up. Now your wife, like it's out the door. Like there's things that we honestly, as a female, there's things that we should not do because once it's gone, it's gone. Right. Okay. And that's crazy because the men are looking for okay. those qualities in us. They're looking for, and if we don't do it, then they're like, she ain't the one because she Baby, ain't the you one. you are not going to test drive this. Here's, right. Here's, 
You got so to go in like, black. You got to go. You got to damage get you. You damage your You are the bet on black over here. Right. Here's, <laughs> here's the problem. Well, here's the issue that women have to deal with. Once GM stopped putting out, let's say, what's a car that didn't do nothing? Once they stopped putting out Chevettes, good Chevettes, you can't buy them anywhere. They're no longer out there. So you, you're holding us as the old, reliable, sturdy thing, but they ain't putting out that. We're not manufacturing men, is what I'm saying. And that has a lot to do with absentee fathers, uh, you know, parenting styles. So you're looking for an old classic. Those cars were built with metal and steel. And you got all these fiberglass cars that look nice, but you, you can't. I mean, if it get too, too cold outside, they'll crack. But you can't hold those cars to the old 71 Cutlass Deuce in the corner that you got sitting, sitting in front of you. I, I might not have not might not have power windows, but I got a motor to run. I'm good on whatever. I look good. I'm a classic. So you can't have a new car that's built out of fiberglass and expect it to have the durability that this 71 guy. So we have stopped producing good cars. Okay. I.e., we've stopped producing men. And okay. this is what y'all have to choose from. And okay. guess what? The market has been so distorted and everything like that. This is easy for us good cars to find. <laughs> Old 71s are considered classics, and everyone wants it now. Can I? Okay. And dating I'm looking at Marcus, Marcus Marcus Darnell McQueen said, Mama's boys. <laughs> okay. He came late to the conversation. He know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, he did. But wait. So he said Mama's boys. Yeah. What's the problem? Do you have a problem with a mama's boy? Yes. Yes. Really? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I back that up. I no. know you need to. I know you need to. Well, 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 well see, <laughs> I had a father there though. I would used to I used to call my mom and say, Hey mom, can I borrow your car? This that another. And this is what she always said. Well, let me see what your dad said. And I'm like, never mind. Because I knew that man was gonna say he needs to figure the stuff out for himself. That man kept me accountable. Because if it was Jim, me and my mom. How much my mom was making back in the day? Woo, I'd have been spoiled rotten. And then I would expect the woman of my choice to treat me just like or better than my mama. But guess what? I had a dad standing in the way saying, oh, no, I'll never forget that story. Me and Woodbury sitting at the side of the house. I'm 17. I said, hey, pops, I need $20 so I can get a hotel room for me and my girl. He looked at me and said, so let me get this straight. You want my $20 and I ain't going to get to fill on her booty one time? He said, if you want it bad enough, you'll figure it out. Right there, he created a man because I have to figure it out. I have to figure it out. And if I didn't have him in my place, my, I couldn't tell my mom I want to go get a hotel room with my girl at 17. You know, King's Hotel, King Z. And that's a little too much. Uh, <laughs> but, out here. but wait, watch this. So, your dad... <laughs> We'll have a problem. That's everybody gets a trophy. If he yes. was getting money, that was everybody gets a trophy. That's why I was so good in sports because he didn't play that. Hey, you need to get out there and exceed. And I will grant you or pay you or or give you accolades when you succeed. Let, let me say this. Let, let, let me say this to you because that mama's boy comment was interesting to me. For some unknown reason, people feel like if you raised by a single mom mm -hmm. that you are considered a mama's boy. Not true. But I do know that there are some females out there and if they can't get their way, they say they call a boy, uh, a, their dude, so to speak, a mama's boy, because they'll always have somewhere to go. Now, I, I can comment I, I, in, a, in a second. I I have a problem with that. So because I have a son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have a son. So. You want to control him, but since you can't control him and he was like, oh, I'm out of here and I don't, my son lives out of town, but if he's in the area, so you're mad that he won't stay there and you can't control him and he decide, oh, I'm going to go visit my mom. I'm going to stay with my mom. Now he's a mama's boy because you can't control him. Well, here we go. <clears throat> As I said previously. Now, if you are a wife, different. Right. right. I and have a funny story about mama's boys. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'll and then I'll get you. Go ahead, Nick. What you what you got? Me? Yeah, you were you were saying something. You said you had a comment. Oh, I think I lost it. You were talking oh. about mama's boy. Um go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, I'll try to go get ahead, it. Nick. 
Hmm. My brother is a mama's boy. He t- he tells everybody he's a mama's boy. You know, our mother is no longer here, but he told he tell he would tell everybody I'm a mama's boy. But guess what? That mama's boy was able to purchase not one but two homes. Purchase any kind of car he want, work like a dog, and take care of his family to the fullest. Children always dress to the nines, and the wife don't shop. He do, like for the kid. So there's nothing wrong with mama's boys. Here's My brother thing. is a mama's boy, but he is the manliest man there is. And I'm not just saying that because he's my brother. It's his actions. So Here. he takes so care what of him. What, what is a mama's boy? Because I learned my mama's boy was, <laughs> if you date a mama's boy, and they say that those are good, mama's mm-hmm. boys are very good to have around. Mm-hmm. I, but you don't get your turn to the mama gone. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I know. I, I know. Here, and that's here's another question. Here, Go ahead. Here's a question for the panel and all ladies listening. <clears throat> what can your son do to make you stop loving him? Oh, neither one. None of my son or daughter. Right. Right. My mom loved me for me. You love me for you. So your love will never compare to a mother's love. When you were raising your kids, you did stuff in the best interest for them. Absolutely. Not for you. Not for you. Now, you, I have to have $100,000 a year or a month. I have to have all this other stuff for you. Not for me. For you to love me, I have to do all of this. What did your children do to make you love them? Exactly. We already know. We birthed them. So it's it's us. Exactly. So when a mama's boy say my mama comes first because my mom loves me for me. I don't have to earn. I can earn 20 cents a month. My mama's still going to love me. I can be a, 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 a chomo or a felon. My mom still loves me. There's nothing I can do oh, to make my mom stop. I, know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about now that second part there. Well, 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 well guess what? There's a lot of moms that still love their kids through. I'm I'm a pray I'm, I'm a pray them through. Right, right. But guess what? There's probably nothing you can, I can do as a child for my mama to stop loving me. Right. If I, if I accidentally trip over and start smashing Rihanna again, you got a problem. It was an accident. I didn't mean to sleep with Rihanna. It it, just, it was an accident. But you. But see, I, I'm gonna hold them accountable, and that's the thing. That's different. That's good. Holding them yeah. accountable for it. That's the thing, and it's mm-hmm. like. Listen, you, you raised them, and it's like, here we go. Now, all these other decisions, these are on you. Welcome to the real world. Right. But guess what? You won't stop loving them. Your kid can come to your house today talking about, Mom, I lost my job. I lost my house. And you say, come on, baby. Move that couch in the back. Make sure your socks don't stink. You will let but him in. 30 days. Okay. But guess what? He got 30 days. He got 30 days. So you got to come up with a plan and you got to talk to me. We got to have a conversation. We got to have contracts in it to get your table. But you, here's you've, seen, you've seen, I, you've seen, uh, Fantasia sent me a couple of new picks and now you done kicked me out and ain't letting me back in. Now what am I? Oh no, no, no. But see, it's Fantasia, baby. <laughs> she here's here's all I, I want to say this to any fellas out there that are listening. If a female calls you a mama's boy, a good thing. Re- rethink that situation because uh, no, I, I say so. Because here's the thing. Is she calling you a mama's boy because she want to control you? And she's trying to say, oh, you're a mama's boy. Like you go, you going to run back and your mother's going to, that's what I had. I had help. My, I had my whole, the whole village helped me. I know that if I fall, I have a place to go. Why do we make it so hard for our people and our black men already have a struggle as it is well, and obstacle obstacles that another black woman will sit here and be like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna put you down. So you get out there, you be on your own or want to call the police. No, 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 leave there. I got you. And now you want to call him a mama's boy because you want him to fall because you couldn't control him. If you, That's not okay. and it might be because I, I have a son, but well, I've seen if- if you're calling a, a man a mama's boy, that end up being locked up because you're trying to show them something, like, or they they can't come home and knock on the door and say, "Okay, well at least you can stay in the hotel." What what, what are you here? 
do this. Here's the thing. Never ever allow somebody to have the upper hand, men or women. The 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 bomber's boy comment usually comes because she's in her feelings because she, she can't control him or something like that. Women speak from their feelings. So I just let mm -hmm, yeah, in, in one air after the other. That's what a lot of men do. We don't even listen to y'all. And y'all can't see us when we're like, what? Yep. Oh wow, really? Mm -hmm. We ain't listening to y'all because you speak from your feelings. And right now, I'm not doing what you want, so I'm a mama's boy. So we don't we, we and, and that's not okay. And, and but that's that's y'all, that's what y'all do. Oh no, I'm I'm not gonna do that. Not you, but women. You, but your, I, but I, even, my, even my little my triangle, you're about to be a straight line. Right. You know, it's like we don't that's not it. It's like I can uplift you. I don't have to take care of you, but why am I making it hard? Why, if this is somebody that loves you, why do they want to make your life hard? It should be easier. If you guys are arguing and going back and forth and you feel like, okay, well, I'm going to put you out. What you going to do? Run to your mama house when I put you out? Yep. Y'all not to tell because it's supposed to be, come on, stress. You're, at the, you're on a dating party. It should be stress-free. It should be, but it's not. And guess what? Women know we can't outspeak y'all. We can't out talk you. I can't say, well, that's why your feet stink, Mel. You mother make your dick smile and get that never. And I'm telling it, I'm putting it on Facebook. That's right. But let me say this. Let me, let me say this. Ladies who call who said if they, you know, mama's boys and all that other stuff, if they were really a mama's boy, they probably wouldn't be with you. No, 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 no. No, watch this. Uh uh. Because we we already know what's good for ours. We don't yeah. choose them. Die. Aha, that's it. You don't choose them. We don't choose them, but we already know. But so, you choose them anyway because they got the nice uniform with the 12 inches. Swanging. Shaba. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Nick. That's right. <laughs> that's right. He got 12 inches. That come with two black eyes, mm -hmm. a couple of STDs. I, 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 Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that comes with, man, you gotta read this side effects. It comes with two black eyes, an occasional dislocated shoulder, and a kitty and a small STD, gonna her persifilades. <laughs> 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 but that's in the fine print. But it's 12 inches. I cannot. 12 inches is thick. Mm. Read the side effects, girl. Read the side effects. Uh her persifilates is the real. I know that you ain't just holler out Shaba. <laughs> yes, he did. Just crazy. Dexter, same yeah, job. Crazy. What is your man doing? Where is your man? That's Where is it. he with you? Come on, let's go back to Although I do require we a big talk. package, or no, I ain't gonna say require or do, although I do like a big package, mm -hmm. those that I fell in love with were not that well endowed, and it wasn't about their manhood, it was about well, you know what you said. wait a minute. Can I ask you this question? So you you lowered your standards and gave them a shot. Did they get on your nerves? Did y'all, did you like, what happened? Did they end up doing you wrong? Excuse me, Mel, Mel. Yes. They all three did the same thing, Mel. Don't don't bring this up because she don't understand it's her. Shh. Let's just move on. No, it ain't me. no, I'm asking her. I'm giving her, come on, talk to me. No, it ain't me. Why no, is it me? See, I'm trying to get, I got a question. See, you started. Don't argue. No, I, I said all the I, I didn't say I require I, I changed it. I said require, but I don't require it. I like that. But those that I fell in love with were not 12 inches. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can do 12 inches every day. But, but I'm just trying, I'm trying to understand where it happens often, where it's like, okay, we give give you a shot for something that we no normally wouldn't deal with. And then somehow y'all think that, or our ugly dude, beauty with the beast, and you mm -hmm. give the beast a shot, and yeah. then the beast sit there and think that he the beauty. Ready? I'm Mel. ready. Mel, you, you, you're, 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 you're a great, uh, your favorite football team is the mighty Pittsburgh Steelers, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This year, we need an offensive line. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to draft for offensive line. So guess what? I'm not going to take another quarterback. I'm not going to do this. So each person that you draft or deal with has to have a strong point and a weak point. Uh -huh. Now, now his four inches might be a weak point, but his strong point is he got a wide receiver. He got Randy Moss on the outside. So just throw the ball up so he can still win the game. There's no team that won three. Was there a three-peat football team? Well, let's just say there's no team that won four in a row. No team gets to the Super Bowl four times in a Wait. 
Yeah, no, nope. That was Buffalo. That was that was divisional. Come on, there's come no, on, hurry up, show about to be There's no team that wins all the time and has every position at its best. So you have to take the team that you can win with. So if the team that you can win with is rocking a hard six, and you can win with that team, you go to that team. Because guess what? They're, the Cleveland Browns, they got a whole bunch of 12 inches. They ain't going to win shit. <laughs> Are you a, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, sir? What? Oh, absolutely. How dare you dis- okay. I, I'm just asking. I'm just asking, sir. Oh, yeah, it's not football season. No, it's not. Fight. Okay. <laughs> I get your point. Thank you. But I'm not going to do it. Good luck, Cleveland Browns. You're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, Mel. You got to win with the team you got. If the team is good and you can win with them, play them. You, you can't. You can't. You, I'm, I'm at the. I'm at the draft. I'm looking around. Yeah, that's why I said like I love. But I'm not about to. Mm-mm, no. So guess what? I love it. I love them like that. But so, so let, let, saying, let me watch this. Let me say this. You just said Cleveland Browns. Cleveland yeah. Browns and the Steelers. Now, if you want somebody committed. Cleveland Browner. Go to Cleveland Browner. Right, but guess what? They wait, got oh, they can't, wait, let me finish. Win, lose, do whatever. If you're a Browns fan, guess what? Those Loyal. are committed people. Loyal. I uh, guess what? I I got. I'm I'm a Steelers. I I mean I love the Steelers since, 19, since 1986. Right. But I'm gonna say this. I ain't no Browns fan, no. so no, I'm gonna build my team. But if my team ain't looking good, I'm trading you out. Like you- both. Right, but you have to address the issues you need. Cleveland Browns have what's most uh, important. What's most important? So if Nick Nick says she like she likes Shaba, mm-hmm. okay. So mm-hmm. if she likes Shaba, she mm-hmm. to me I say don't deviate. Right. Because yeah. what happens is you deviate. Now you gave this person a shot. You didn't build up their self esteem, and it didn't work out. But guess what? It ain't they about don't work with them twelve inches neither because they it think they're the ish. It's not about their feelings and what they got out of it it's mm-hmm. about the person you are during the whole thing i'm still the coach we had a winning season guess what everybody looking at uh, uh, uh um brady as the greatest which he can't argue but guess what bill was over there calling the plays he was putting the team together he was in the back room and everything and all brady did is went out there and executed but they were a winning team okay i got, I got brady on my team who's six inches and I'm like, well, I need a 12 inch. So I'm going to go get Tim Couch because he got 12 inches. And I like 12 inches. Uh, Brady's sitting on my bench with six inches, but I'm going to put Tim Couch in because he got 12. Okay, go put hey. Brady in and cheat with Couch. Well, hey, guess what? Listen. <laughs> Listen. No comment. Mm-hmm. No comment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. yeah. Okay. But guess it's it's all it's all yeah, good. Your twelve oh, inches is pretty I rich. I need to I need to understand this. Please tell me the type of guy from a male, mm-hmm. the type of guy that gets upset with a female because she doesn't want him because he uh, cannot produce. Somebody saucy, uh, okay. someone's in the feelings, and there's no man in his life, no man in front of him, because only iron sharpens irons, and that's a bitch. I mean a. That's a that's a move. Sorry, that, that that's a bad move. A Mitch. Yes, a Mitch. His his mussy's upset. He has a mussy, so leave him alone. That 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 is your number one. You got a mussy cat. You got a mussy. <laughs> I would like to thank my sister in law for that term. That is not a Nate original. That is Anitra. She gave that one to me, but it it fits. He what did you call it? Listen, it had to be Anitra. <laughs> Okay. Well, my thing is this: the, um, what would you say to that person? Like, Nothing. he's worth. It, he's not worth my time. Nothing. Okay. Because if he doesn't look for guidance or look for something that's different, he thinks he's he's ele- He thinks he's working with good intel. He believes that it's like an addict. I only use crystal meth on the weekends. It's recreational, and until he say. Crystal mess not bad, and I don't want to do it anymore. There's nothing you can do with that person. So if he's coming to you and acting like that, I can't change that. That's his programming. You just say, "Oh, okay, well maybe I am bougie, and maybe, maybe you're right," and move on your way. Uh huh. And then what ended up happening is females giving that guy a shot, 
and then they realize they're still miserable. That's your choice. And guess what? And, and, and after and after the PNC, you'll see. You'll What's see the PNC? Pre -nut, post nut conversation. <laughs> You will see that Dude, all he was there for. The goods, mission accomplished. He's won. He won. You see that? Yeah, I hit that once, and it was garbage, but he hit it, so he wins. Watch this. Okay, smash. So that dude, smash, uh -huh. who is competing with you, upset exactly. that he can't reach your standards. Correct. He smash, and now you want to leave that dude and go find a high caliber dude and expect him to put in all the work when this your last one didn't. Well, your whole facts just got hit and as you you know you know, you, you you hit it when you buy a car and they they run in a four or five times and really hit your score you really messed your whole facts up dealing with a dude like that when you should have known up front when i told you he had a mussy leave him alone but you chose to give him a chance and now you're mad at the whole situation you can't be mad at this situation you knew he had a mussy and you mess with him and his mussy was musty so now he got a he got a bdr from you <laughs> Oh, and your whole facts is a musty is really mussy. Up. Your your whole facts is messed up for a dude from a dude with a mussy. Mm -hmm. You didn't even get your back blown out. He gave you the two pusher gusher, but he won and he messed up your whole whole facts. And you mad because he's out here talking. And if you could have just avoided the whole situation, be like, nope, I smell mussy and left. And once you left, you ain't got to worry about none of this. Your your whole facts is still high. His BDR, whatever, he can keep trying with the, the wildebeest because you are a gazelle, and it's a lot harder to hunt a gazelle. If I run in a straight line, I'll run into a mill wildebeest. And it's a mill. Might be Taco Bell, but it's a mill. I'm not hungry anymore. So let him hunt wildebeest, and you just be a gazelle and hop on. You're worried about him. Well, he been eating wildebeest all this time, and he need to do this to get a gazelle like me. No! <laughs> And that's where the problem is at, where women yeah. tend to try to teach a man to you be a man. Teach He's been on crystal meth for six years. Talk about, I only use it recreational. And you're going to be like, well, he only uses it on the weekend. And then you're mad when your VCR comes up missing. I bet you was getting ready to say it. A, ma a female can't teach a male to be a male. As a child or anything, only right. iron sharpens iron. And the problem is, when you're with these people that I've seen, when you are with these people, you want them to come, you want them to be what you want them to be. So now you're not their girlfriend or their wife, you're their mother. And it's like, you're trying to teach them and you can't teach people how to treat you, but there's an issue when you want somebody who, you're taking somebody out of their habitat and putting them into yours and they have no clue about that, but you gave that person a shot out of this habitat when you like you wouldn't even deal with that person over there so the you give them lesson, a shot and then you're disappointed the lesson of the day is when you smell mussy run when you smell a mussy just run just leave it alone okay. it's, it, and to me like you were saying at the beginning of the show the top of the show you were talking about how you know write down what you want you have to i, I believe in that wholeheartedly Write right. down what you want. What what will you waver? If you're wavering, you got to look at your list and say, okay, well, I chose this and this. And here's the I thing. I have to take responsibility. Okay, that serves two purposes. You're okay. right with that. And then after you write this dream unicorn down, you know, he has to look like, uh, what's the dude, Aquaman? He has mm -hmm. to look like him. He has to have 12 inches. He has to make this much money. Then ask yourself, well, why would I deserve that? Mm-hmm. I, I, that's fair. Right. So don't get delusional. You got what is what is what does it do? Me and the wife swing with them all the time. Lisa <laughs> Bonet and um he, he's so stupid. What's Lisa Bonet? My Jason Momoa. That's who I'm talking about. Jay, me and me and my wife swing with but Jason Momoa. You know, well, yeah, I don't know why. But yeah, but watch this though. For me, I, I, I hear me. what you're saying, but what you just said, <laughs> you said as a do I deserve him? Yeah, that's been so far. I, I, but see, that's where the problem's at, Nate. You said, do I, she needs to ask herself, do she deserve him? Right. Does he deserve me? He, he makes two million a, a week. No, in this, no, no, oh my God. Where no, does your worth come from? Where's your worth? Why does he, why does he deserve? What do you do to own a Jason Momoa who can smash everyone listening right now, who makes that type of money, who looks like that, and all you do is bring 
ta-da. This is me. I deserve you. And you be loyal to me. Watch this. Watch it. Guess why? Because he chooses me. You think so he, something in me he saw. I'm not gonna sit there and ask well, why seen, do I deserve him. Seen, no, you fellas need to be asking why does he deserve me? He wants well, to smash you. He don't he's playing. It's, chess. Up, it's up to me to say yes or no. Right. But when you say yes, all day, but there is no way in the world PNC. that I'm gonna sit there and be like, Well, PNC. do I deserve him? What? PNC. No, PNC. he deserves me. PNC. Ladies, don't, don't take that advice. PNC, them, take that, take the advice. Take the advice. Do you deserve PNC. No. PNC. Okay, no. guess what? No, no. no. Take the advice. Lamar deserved you for that time. After he no. said, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he I don't want nothing else. But, but that's the problem. You don't you don't get that far. Bam. I know that's oh, right, Miss Lee. Oh. I know that's okay. right, Miss Lee. Exact, okay. Exactly, Carla. Okay. I'm the prize. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. That's why. But Listen, he deserves me. Um, exactly. Every Cracker Jack box has a prize. Exactly. Everyone. But guess what? Every Cracker what Jack box has a prize. What kind of prize is it? Forty dollar prize? I'm unique. Well, what, what's the tattoo from the Cracker Jack box? That I'm unique. The two hand washes. <sighs> I'm very Whoa. unique. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me put this. Hold on. See, there's Pray with me. Pray with me. Lord, help these women who are, women who are uh, lost. Exactly. Lord. Your, your, your sisters are lost, Lord. Bring it That's around. real. Bring it around. That is Lord, real. They have, they have right now, Lord. Girl, Lord. Lord. Listen, we ask that these women see the reflection in the mirror, women. Lord. It's not even the um, <laughs> money at all. It's not. Right. But it is, do do they deserve me? Why are, there's the competition. You just said it. I'm glad it came back full circle because that's exactly what I was talking about. Where men are wanting to be the prize. You said, do I deserve him? Wait a minute. I'm going to let you. Do, men are wanting to be the prize. What's happening here? A man wants to be a man. You want to be a You want a ribbon? You want a, a ribbon? Man. You, you, he, wants, he wants the ribbon. He wants to be the prize. You want the whole man. You ready? No, you, you choose You're you ready? I'm not ready, but go ahead. Jason Momoa took acting classes, worked on his body, make this type of money. He has to, Ooh, earn, cares, it. Jason he has to earn his wealth. All you have to say is, I'm worth it. That's all you have to say. You don't have to take up, up, up. You don't have to make a certain amount of money. Let me tell you the history. Since you brought up Jason Momoa. Yeah, okay. Mason Momoa was watching the Cosby show, a little mm -hmm. boy, because he's a lot younger than Lisa Bonet. Mm -hmm. Right, right. He chose he her. Mm -hmm. He chose her, though. Right. Lisa right. Bonet ain't made nothing in a long time, but gotcha. he chose her, so he liked her. Gotcha. He so, was the prize. Okay, okay. So He looked good, but she's the prize. Come on, right, man. Well, Y'all want to be parading across the stage, get a little tutu and be sassy. Okay. <laughs> so, do you say Jason Momoa earned the right to talk to a woman like that or whatever he earned his value right his oh, value I don't know if he earned it but he can it, 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 it all goes back to you can get on the boat if you set the twins up nice and wear a nice top i have to buy the boat you well, get in the vip I, I, you get in the vip simply by being you i have to earn to get in vip i like what you're saying I so, like what you're, wait a minute i like what you're saying but what you are saying when you say it what did you do to deserve him? Mm -hmm. You're flipping it like we bought the boat and no, you're no, no, up no, sitting no, no, the no. up. No, no, That's no. what you're saying now. No, well, well, it was taken wrong. When you get him, of course he wanted you. We don't know when what he didn't say for wife or whatever, but Jason ain't really got to say too much. Enough. He said he was gonna marry her. I thought it was I'm a talking, woman. I'm talking, we ain't talking about Jason as in him and his. Not anymore. Okay. We're just, no, no, we're just using him. Boat, you have to buy we're the boat. We're just using him as an example. Because he ain't got to rap too hard to nobody to get the, the draws wet. He making moist moments everywhere. So Jason ain't got to do too. He don't have to do too much because of Wait, what he does. He, he can hell. open his mouth. And if he sound crazy and illiterate, bye, dry up like a hair. He said that they got to pay. We just sit the girls up and get in VIP for free. Mm -hmm. They got to pay for VIP. Yeah. We get invited to the boat. They got to buy the boat. Guess yeah. what? Right there, he just proved our point. We are the prize. No. That no. So you, you that's why they have all these nights to get you the ready? bills to come. You're, you're ready? We are the prize. Then. No, I am showing you that the scale is different. We have to <sighs> earn our value. You didn't work to set them boobs up. You got to support bra. 
And in the older age, you got a super support bra because they hanging. Hey, so, I got to do these Q-tips real quick. And we're about to get to the end of the show. And we're just so crazy. You want to say something that you cannot. Right. Uh, men right. earn their value is correct. Okay. Yes, you definitely got to earn your value. But um, y'all giving it. Y'all. You, you, what y'all want? Y'all want a little... You want to win the crown? You want to you want to win you the want pageant? A tiara, baby. Yeah, you, want the, you want to win the pageant? You want us to buy you a tiara and a tutu? Is that what you want? <laughs> All right, listen. I had to do the Q-tips real quick. The Q-tips today. Um, we're talking about it's okay not to be okay. Trials and tribulations. Understand this: that everyone has trials, and trials are merely challenges to be a better you. So the way to get over those trials, if you have them, here's your Q-tips. You want to rejoice. You want to pray. You want to allow those tough days and know that you've jumped those hurdles and pushed through. Also move forward. When you move forward on those trials that you have, that means you talk about it, but don't hold on to it and keep looking in the rear view, the rear view mirror. You want to move forward, my lovely people. And if you have to talk about it, make sure you do what it is that you need to do where if you are sharing your, we call them testimonies, as far as like the hurdles that you had to jump, make sure it'll serve somebody else and say, hey, I too been through that and it's going to get better. You'll have a sunny day. That's it for today's Q-tips, lovely people. Y'all can hear the siren going. So again, it is okay not to be okay every day. All right, now, now back, back to these lovely people. We about to close this show. Any last words? Last words, Nate. Go ahead. What you got? Last words. Men competing with women. Last words. Come on. Hey, it's all in. It's all. They can compete as much, but if I ain't playing the game, it really don't matter. Okay, go ahead, Nick. What's your last words? Uh, I already said it. I'm the prize. You are the prize. I heard that. And keep it quiet. All right, lovely people, that is my time. Let me give you today's footnote. The ego is something major. So don't let your ego get in the way because we know that our own egos has a way of convincing ourselves that that's it. And that's a lie. We got a lot of things that we can do, okay? So don't let your ego get in the way. And these men competing with women, you heard it right here on Shop Talk with Mel. They want the tiara, it sounds like. They want to be paraded. They want to be looked at as the prize. Is this a thing? I know. I'm going to put this last comment up here. Whatever, right. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> that, I, I, I don't want to end the show. You got to do All right. So here we go. Make sure you like us and subscribe on all. We're on all socials. Find you, embrace you. Most importantly, always love you. Until next week, people, you know what it is. One, two, three. Shop up, top. Shop top. Come to the brunch. Come to the brunch. I hope to see you lovely people at the live show. I hope to see you lovely people at the live show April the 27th. Uh, it starts at 9, so we can open the doors. The show starts at 10 to 12. You guys already know we'll still be doing it this way if you're not in the Youngstown area. So Dope Cider and Winery will be hosting it 9 to 1, April the 27th. You must have a ticket because it's limited seating. So I had to put that out there, okay? And it is a beverage and brunch. So come kick it with your girl. Come early, 9 o'clock, so that you guys can actually have some brunch. And then we can get into the show. All right? All right. Love you for listening. Peace.